Hi everybody, welcome to Wild Music. I'm Bryden. Carly Simon was born in 1945 in the Bronx, New York City. She rose to prominence in the 1970s with a string of hits. And she did a short stint actually with a group called the Simon Sisters. Obviously Simon, her surname, it was with her sister Lucy. She had Billboard Hot 100 singles. She's had Billboard Adult Contemporary singles. She's had two Grammys with 14 nominations. So that's pretty amazing in itself. And she's had many other awards. She's produced many, many albums, had many hits. And she's yet another classic performer who has amazing performances and ama does amazing songs. So this particular song was written by Carly Simon and it was for the film Heartburn, which was released in 1986. And then she had a, an album of the same name coming around again that was released in 1987 and it was a big hit of an album and song. She also did a song, Itsy Bitsy Spider, which is also on that album that's a stripped down version of this song of coming around again. So uh, it was actually used also as the B-side for the single coming around again, the single version of it. So this particular version is Carly Simon's studio version with the video clip. So anyway, let's hear it. Daddy 
Oh, yes. Oh, what a brilliant song. I love that song. And I love Carly Simon's performances and recordings. And, you know, some of her more recent things from the last 12 months, two years, she still sounds absolutely amazing. It's so worth checking out some of her recent upload things that have gone onto YouTube from her recent performances. She still sounds brilliant. As great as ever. Oh, she's classic. There's so much to love. She doesn't need to show off with all flashy runs and all of this, but it's the subtleties that make her such an amazing vocalist. I'm sure she can do all those things too. But in this particular song, this is a it's it's quite restrained in terms of vocal tricks and techniques, but what I'm saying is she's delivering the meaning of the song so well without any of those fancy things and it's still absolutely brilliant singers are very different some do use those runs and they're absolutely amazing as well others don't but they're still brilliant like that's why this song was such a hit and is still a classic i'd like to go back to the beginning and then talk through some of the things i absolutely love about it now this song has an iconic start and as soon as you hear those couple of those few string chords in the beginning you know which song it is and then comes in with the the little keyboard riffs in the introduction then there's a hand clap as well you know this is coming around again have a listen for those here's the keyboard part the hand claps As with all of her music, it's so well arranged as well. The instrumental parts are absolutely brilliant as well as her vocal parts. Let's go back to the start and hear it again. melancholy about this song I know it's positive but it has this melancholy and she delivers it so well because if you feel that you know the vocalist has delivered the song really really well and of course she wrote the song as well we've heard her start the song in her beautiful chest voice let's hear it again from where her vocals come in about here in she's got her signature vibrato it's lovely and that second phrase ended with the same type of vibrato they're beautiful I'll just pick that up but so be have to stop it again you can hear that that string part those few string chords coming in again there that's a hook of the song most certainly songs have instrumental hooks they also have vocal hooks could be in the lyrics and then another hook in the melody so melodic hook lyrical hook and instrumental hooks this is what makes these songs that are well known and stay classic for a long time this is what makes those songs stand the test of time because of the hooks and the quality of those in the song And of 
course, I didn't mention just then the vocal performance or the, the overall performance from all the musicians to, of course, that is what's important to make a song stand the test of time because it's just so well done. I love her breaths in she started to have there as well as that vibrato again at the end of that phrase. The breaths in are really effective in adding to the emotional content as well. And that sad line there, that the breath in really helps her deliver that sad line in the song. More room in a broken heart. Whoa, what lyrics. She's absolutely amazing at songwriting as well. <laughs> Love it. So don't mind if I fall apart. There's more room in a broken heart. Broken heart. You pay the closer. And here on the word scream, she, she went a bit louder on that. And that helped, you know, colour the phrase as well with a bit of the light and shade that you need, the dynamical contrast or the dynamics. I mean, what, what lyrics scream a lullaby, burn the souffle? Oh, I love her lyricism as well. And she had a bit of vocal fry there and then the breath in again. And what a line. What else can I do? But I'm I'm so in love with you. Oh. I believe in love. But what else can I do? I'm so in love with you. I know nothing stays the same. But if you're willing to play. Nice drum fill there. I was going to mention the layered vocals through this song, and it's there's more layering as you get through this, move through the song. The layering is really effective as well, and and there's a couple of points where there's an e once at least there's an echo that really highlights the line that Carly is singing. Let me just go back, listen to some of these layering. <laughs> section she's varying it she's not singing that line the same every time she sings it differently and that really adds to the the brilliance of her performance
where there was that long sustained note there too with a bit of vibrato. Beautiful. A beautiful vocal performance as well so nicely done ah oh, I absolutely love that song and I love everything Carly Simon does she's an amazing artist always has been and is still going sounding amazing as ever still Wow <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my reaction I'll hopefully see you again very soon on the channel See you later.